Cracks. Who wants to go to Cracks? I'll tell you who does. Priest wants Cracks. Police want Cracks. The teacher around the corner wants Cracks. The plumber wants Cracks. The lovers want Cracks. Every motherfucker in this town wants Cracks. So let's build a Greg's, and if that's not enough, we'll build another Greg's. That's the stuff. Until there's cracks in every street, as far as the eye can see. Then you'll understand that this is more than just a bakery. No one can separate or can hate when they're eating a steak bake. G R E G G S Greg's. Can you tell that this shit is the best? G R E G G S Greg's. I've got some. Right want Greg's, every fucking party wants a Greg's Dogs want Greg's and cats want Greg's The lady of the night, she wants a Greg's The suits and the sandwiches, there's no disadvantages Are you understanding Greg's? Francis all the languages There's something for everyone, even if you're vegan Everyone put down your guns and stop believing Everyone can get along So grab your friends and sing along G-R-E-G-G-S Greg's can you tell that this shit is the best? G R E G G S Rex. Fuck yeah! Now it's time for a poem. Dark and wet, sinking feeling of regret. It was one week since our argument. 5,000 words on a document. 5,000 words with no conclusion. 5,000 words written in a days of confusion with no answer to why I should lose you. The feeling of emptiness when weeks, months, years of effort fall to the floor and collapse into nothing. Like a 60 page thesis, which is mostly bluffing, of finding your lover in bed another. <laughs> it's 7.30 a.m. and I, I, need to, I need to get out. Remember what this world is about. Fill the void in the pit of my soul. Light this fire in my heart which is made from coal. I see bright lights, white, orange and blue. A collection of my peers forming a queue. In a state of desperation to bring back my mind, I join the congregation and take my place in line. Posters in the window advertise coffee, bacon and eggs and I stumble into this small room allegedly called Greg's. All of a sudden I'm stricken by the warmth, not only from the heating of the ovens at the back but from the smile as I'm greeted from a member of staff and suddenly I start to feel alive when I notice the breakfast deal for £2.25. I look blankly at Peter while he takes my order. I'd like a steak, bacon, a coffee, I mutter. What coffee would you like? to questions. What are my options? I ask, easing the tension. Any regular hot drink from the menu, he smiles. I peruse my options for a while. I notice that flat white's £1.80. Will a flat white be a possibility? Absolutely. But that means that the steak bake will be just 45p. Peter just smiles and agrees. Astounded by the value, I nod my head. I'm handed a cup and a parcel that I caress, sliding it into my pocket close to my chest. My heart starts to thaw from the heated pastry as I take my seat to enjoy this new discovery. My teeth crunch into the crisp pasty. Flakes from the bake go flying around me. What once was the shell of a man who was frozen is taken over by a flavor explosion. Tender steak and savory gravy fill that hole that one dumb bitch left in me. And all for an easily affordable price. So that's why Greg's will get my business for life.
and cry. No time for breakfast, a shower or a nut. So I have another cry and I jump on the bus. A fiver in my wallet and the bus is two pounds seventy. Take my seat and no one is sat next to me. I forgot my tie, so I have another, another cry. cry. But hey, it's not that bad. I arrived five minutes early. Nice. I'm craving a treat and a nice coffee. So I'm walking to Greg's and guess, guess what, what I, I see? A bacon, egg, roll, coffee for two pounds twenty-five. Fuck. Breakfast. Deal. Breakfast. Deal. Breakfast. Deal. Two pounds twenty-five. Breakfast. Deal. Breakfast. Deal. Breakfast. Deal. So good I could cry. Nice lady at the counter asks if I want brown or red sauce. I think I'll go to town, so I say. Could you put both sauces on the roll, please? Oh, shit. Thank you. Pay and bring the roll up close to my head. I consume the coffee, bacon and eggs. The bread is so soft that it blows my mind. And it looks so much that I start to cry. The boss asks me if I'm okay. She says she smells like sweat. Four night of shame. I should probably stop crying at the workplace. And I should wipe that sauce off of my face when it's the breakfast. Deal. Breakfast. Deal. Breakfast. Deal. This is delicious. Fuck yeah, I love Greg's. Oh! Oh! Sir Ian McKellen, what are you doing here? Little Greg's, fancy seeing you around. I was just looking around ah. for something to eat. I mean, I've just been to Greg's, but I'm oh, more than happy obviously. to go again uh, if you want to oh. go grab something. Well, I was thinking about going to this new place that's just opened up called Pound Bakery. Pound Bakery? Are you fucking serious? What? Dude. What? That place is worse than those fucking Hobbit movies you were in. I mean, come on, you don't have to bring those up every- No! Time. Fuck off, Dumbledore. I've got something to say. I'd rather eat shit than go to that poor excuse for a bakery. The value's great, but the food just doesn't taste right to me. Like, do they understand the sausage rolls are meant to have meat? Can they comprehend that people like to eat real cheese? No, not that plastic shit. That shit's for little kids. I'm a grown-ass man and I want real cheese, little bitch. They don't even know how to make a sandwich. That poor excuse for coffee belongs in a ditch. Yo, yo, yo! Everything that's beautiful about it And reduce the quality, the price and the spirit Your staff look depressed because you're feeding them junk And they live with their partners who they no longer love Bakes are an art that take years of perfection And I feel like after your food I need to drink disinfectant You're a disgrace to the food market I hope you die in a hole Despite the fact it's kinda like your vegetarian sausage rolls
want to know what the best thing is about Greg's Bakes? It's that no two bakes are created equal. They're all left in the oven for different amounts of times and in a different position at the oven and they're all left on the tray for a different amount of time. Sometimes they're warm, sometimes the room temperature, but God damn it, every single one is beautiful, just like every single one of us. You might want to feel like you're inferior just because you're not heated and you're in fact room temperature, but God damn it, some of the best Greggs that I have ever had were room temperature. You can eat them faster. If bakes could think you think that they would grow up to hate, the filling that they were given or the temperature before they were ate. Do you think that a chicken bake would look at a steak bake and think, wow, was my life a mistake? I don't have the taste as most of the bakes on this tray. Nay, because Greg's minimizes waste and every bake gets eaten before the end of the day. So why do we think that what we're born with or how long we've been on the shelf makes us any less important than anybody else? It's okay if your Greg's is room temperature. It's okay if your Greg's is a little burnt Because it's what's inside that truly matters They're all the same during digestion Greg's is being held back by external forces from the government or something preventing us taking control of the entire food market of the world. We're stuck in small shops and the street corners, our potential surrounded by borders. Fuck that shit, here's my proposal. Cut off the wheels of one politician, start a new movement or even really Live off the food provided by Greg's, build bigger and more shops across the land. Start off by replacing the banks, fuck it, we don't need it. Business seats and stuff. Fuck off. Wearing aprons, bright and blue, serving the hungry king. Food for me and you. Sticking to what is true, which is Greg's is delicious. It's Greg's and ourselves, safe inside of our shells. And if anything gets in between us and our bakes, we won't be afraid to kill. Won't be afraid to kill. This is Greg's This is Greg's This is Greg's Get the fuck off of my bait! Greg's this is Brexit! This is Brexit! This is Brexit! This is Brexit! Get your own motherfucking bait! Theresa May! Fuck off! Stay mate! Fuck, Fuck yeah. yeah! We don't need your rules! Leave us to our food! Politics! Boring! Greg's delicious! delicious. And I'm having a great time eating my sandwich! Fucking the policy is unnecessary, there's none of the basic Greg necessities. The place is way too big for a family, but just the right size for the world. The biggest Greg's. Greg's. People would come from around the world. If I take me to South and Gold, we will get the dose in. There's no room left for you. The staff won't let you have any of our food. Singing out for a food of Greg's is the only way that it's true. If you're not with us, they're against us. That's the way it's meant to be. The separation is the only way that we can be happy. Yeah. Brexit deal! Brexit deal! Brexit deal! No one else but us! Brexit deal! Brexit deal! Brexit deal! Get your hands off my stuff! Brexit deal! Brexit deal! Brexit deal! No one else but us! I have had enough!